know this. We know the. Yeah, I'm good. So, one of the first techniques we're going to look at is known as the chin jab. This is a very, very close range technique and it's got a couple of different purposes. The main purpose is to score the knockout. I want to knock the opponent out and to do that, I need to shake the brain very, very quickly. The secondary effect, which is also quite useful, is the knockdown. Knocking the opponent to the floor where you could finish it with the boot, with a secondary weapon or something else. We're going to look at two different types of chin jab. We're going to look at an attached chin jab, where I grab the enemy, and an unattached or detached chin jab, which has no attachment whatsoever. So, we're going to break down some of the components. So, the opponent is here. The chin jab is a very close range move. So what we have to do is we have to take space. And what we're going to do, if I just move you here, Chris. First thing I'm going to do is step so that my body smothers his body. Because odds are if he's got a weapon, a gun, a knife, a baton, it's likely to be on this waistline. So I smother his ability to access that weapon with my body. I then grab a large portion of his kidney or his back, or if he's got battle dress on, his webbing or his backpack. I grab a lump of something here. So I ballistically step and grab and get chest to chest with the opponent to smother, likely his right arm, his power arm, so even if he's unarmed, he can still hit me, and to prevent him drawing any type of weapon on this side. So I end up here, I'll just move back that way. At the same time as this lands and I make the attachment, the hard base of my palm hits under the jaw, so close that the inner part of my forearm slams against his chest, like so. So, we move from here, step and grab, and as we do so, we hit, and all of my body weight is moving up and through. Chris, really, really important. Now, secondary asset from here, bear in mind this is a strike, not a push, it's ballistic. A secondary aspect, if he's not quite gone over, is I put the fingers to the eyes, and I essentially dunk his head to the floor. So I smash the back of his head to the floor this way, whilst pulling in tight on his back. So the effect in total is to go from deception, discussion, you may be showing papers, you may be doing anything like that, you may be apologising, pretending not to hear, you'll be doing some degree of subterfuge to get a little bit closer, a little bit closer, and then exploding in here. Slamming this in, hopefully this shakes his brain and knocks him out, but if not, you can drive him, head behind his backside, and his head hits the ground. That's the attached chin jab. The unattached chin jab, we might not be able to get that drop step in. And just to point on that step, it needs to be solid, we need to drive into him. If I can't quite pull that off, and I'm here, the unattached chin jab drives up my toe, so the ball of my foot is on the ground, the heel is off the ground. Like an uppercut, you slam this shot in here. Wow! Typically, if it's unattached, you'll throw more than one. You might throw two to three shots. One, two, three. So you're rolling through the motions, but it's very important that your hip drives into the shot, that your heel leaves the ground, and still my body weight is moving forward at pace. In the unattached version, it's less likely the fingers will access the eyes, because if I don't have a hold of him, and my fingers go near his eyes, he's gonna move them away against that negative stimuli. So that's the thing to watch out for. So attached chin jab, we step in tight, get body to body, grab the kidney and smash up from here. An unattached version, we drive up and typically in combination until the encounter's finished. An important drills to play with here is being able to do it from dialogue, from being able to discuss, not being able to hear, pretend to show papers and then smash in. But bear in mind if Chris comes here, a major benefit of it is, of course, preventing him from access that weapon. As soon as he flinches for that weapon, I'm here. I'm smothering his ability to access it at all times. Bear in mind using the hard, centralised part of the palm, and you want to shake the brain, rattle the head, knock him out. Secondary, knock him down. If you knock him down, you need to have the wherewithal to finish the job in its entirety. So that's the chin jab.